CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your camera system using PoE switches and fiber. So I have two PoE switches that are 16 ports and I have a fiber connection in between them. That port right there, going to the bottom switch, it's a fiber connection. So this switch, I'm going to zoom in and show you, it has four uplink ports. The way the switch works is the four ports are actually divided into a group of two SFPs, ports 17 and 18, and one gigabit uplink RJ45 ports 17 and 18. So in this switch that I'm zoomed into, number 17 is the SFP port, and number 18 is the RJ45 port. So when I'm using them on the switch, you can see that port 17 and 18 are lit up, showing that the uplink is connected. And it's also showing that I have activity on port 1, which happens to be a PoE port right there. That is connected to one camera on uh, my network, and it's going. that cable is going back to a camera. That RJ45, the gray cable, 18, is going to my network and the 17 of course is going down via fiber to another switch which is also port 17 on there. I'm going to try and focus in on that. So I'm focused in and I can show you that port 17 to the switch below is also fiber and port 18 is another network port RJ45 and that's going to my NVR. And let's look at the lights. Port 17 and 18 are lit up. And one is lit up too, which is actually a PoE port. And on that switch, it's going to another camera, that blue cable right there. So zoom back out. So here's an image of my current setup. I'm going to summarize it to you with the help of my pointer here. So there are two cameras that are connected that are on PoE ports 1 on each switch. Right. Those are cables going directly out to PoE cameras. And then the gray cable is going to my network. The black cable is going to my NVR. So as you see, one switch goes back to my network, one goes straight to the NVR. But essentially they're all networked together thanks to my fiber connection between the two switches here. And I'm using SFP ports. I'll show you in a little bit what SFP connections are. So now I'll show you that my cameras are working. So the black cable that was going from my switch is entering right there. And this NVR has a power cord connected to it, a VGA cable, and a mouse and the monitor is sitting right above it. And you can see those two cameras pulling up in the feed. They're two different cameras, two different feeds, all happening in real time. And these are four megapixel cameras working without issue. As you can see, they're functioning pretty evenly in sync with the timestamp not deviating too much. So now, what I've just shown you is Essentially that you can hook up two PoE switches to together and then hook up those PoE switches using fiber, especially for people wanting to do long cable runs, and then connect your NVR and your network. But the beauty of this is that you actually don't need a network. So I'm going to remove this cable going to my network and now all I have is a standalone system. There's no internet, nothing. And these professional systems continue to work without issue. As you can see, I have two cameras, a fiber link in between, an NVR, 
that's again going back here. And you can see that video still continues to function without any issue whatsoever. See that box truck moving around? Just happens to be my luck. They're helping me demonstrate to you that the cameras are working in sync, two independent cameras. Going back to the NVR, no lag whatsoever. So this is what you can expect from a professional system where you can deploy it over a network and network PoE cameras or IP cameras. That necessarily doesn't mean you need internet. Our cameras do not need an internet connection to work. You just need the infrastructure to be able to connect to them. And that infrastructure is what we just showed you here. A switch, PoE switch, cable connections in between using Cat5 or Fiber. And you can make up your own standalone camera system all the way up to an enterprise grade system like this. Now let me explain to you what an SFP port is. First, I'm gonna power off my device. I'm gonna power off the switches just to make sure that I don't damage the SFP connector. If you're not familiar with this, I'm going to show you how to disconnect the cable. So this is pretty hard to tug on. You can just kind of pull the SFP and the fiber cable out together. And this is the, the little unit that performs the task of linking the two switches together. This happens to be a $10 SFP, handles up to a gig. These switches only handle up to a gig, gigabit over the um, SFP link. This is what the other side of it looks like. I'm gonna have my colleague here demonstrate to you how to disconnect the two together and put them back in. So here, the, the key is, if you look at the connector on top, there's a push button. You push that down, making sure the levers on the top are pushed in, and then you just separate them. Now in my case, I've already pre-loosened them. They are very difficult to do. Sometimes people end up breaking this, so just be very careful when you're doing that. So reinsert them. First, you can reconnect them before putting into the SFP, or it's easier, I like to just first plug them into my SFP. So then what you do is you pull down on this lever here, and then you bring in your connector inside and you push it in all the way. You may wanna to apply to some force from behind the switch to make sure it's not moving in case you don't have an rack like we do for demonstration purposes. Make sure all this is just seated firmly inside your switch and that's pretty much it. There's really no configuration necessary if you're using an unmanaged switch. In our case, our PoE switch does have a console port. We pre-configured that. We're not gonna be discussing how to configure that stuff in here, but this is just to show you how to easily hardwire two switches together and form your own standalone network over fiber. Now fiber does not send PoE power. This is only for an uplink connection between the two to create a gigabit network in between the two switches. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and please do leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.